know what? This is gonna be stupid. I would certainly probably be getting fired for that. Come on, go down, go down. Oh goodness, 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 goodness. Get out of this area, get out of this area. Uh, yeah, that's the guy. Welcome everybody, Matthew Street with another episode of LSPDFR. I do want to go ahead and give a shout out real quick to a few people. Uh, number one to Devin of Devin Plays LSPDFR. He sent me some awesome files for Stop the Ped that expanded our questioning ability by a lot. And also the items you can find on peds and in their vehicles. Uh, I'm not going to feature that just yet today. I do need to learn them a little bit before I just throw them in game. Uh, but we'll go ahead and give him credit again once we do that here in the near future. You can see his uh, YouTube channel link in the description. also want to give a big thanks to PX234. He also uh, has hel helped me set up a Discord server for uh, my LSPDFR videos. So you'll be seeing a link for that here in the very near future. And then uh, lastly, I want to thank Trooper Nick. We're on this theme of y'all uh, giving me suggestions for vehicles. And he said, how about Chicago? So there it is, Chicago Police. Now, I know this is a little bit of an older skin. I'm working on finding a good texture pack for the new ones. Uh, once I have one that's working properly, I will get that in the game. But this looks pretty slick. I like it a lot. Should have been shut. Uh, excuse me, probably should have done Chicago a while back. My dad was born and raised there. He moved down here to Arkansas for school and just never left. That's why I was born and raised here. But he passed on to me Chicago heritage. So all the Cubs, Bears, Bulls, Blackhawks, all that stuff. Been to Chicago numerous times. But it's a good looking vehicle. Love how it has the uh, Chicago flag on both rear quarter panels there. Uh, four stars. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go ahead and cruise down uh, downtown here for a little bit. Well, we'll see if we stay here. <laughs> You know how that goes. Uh, we are going to go ahead and turn ourselves on for calls. There we go. And we're going to get out there and see what we can find. I will pull you in when we've come across some havoc. See you in a minute. We have a stolen vehicle in uh, Pillbox Hill. Okay, we're going to go ahead and jump on that. A stolen vehicle in uh, Pillbox Hill. That's uh, quite a ways away. I believe it is. But our tracker percentage there is increasing. Watch out, dude. You see, we're at 38, 39, 40 going up. So this is always kind of cool. You just kind of have to track them and find them based on that. And now we're going the wrong way. And I'm going the wrong way. So uh, let me see if we can't flip around here and get more towards where that individual... Oh, God. Yeah, well, this is just going swimmingly already, isn't it? All right, I got to remember where Pillbox Hill is. I don't do a lot of patrols in this city because I just don't know it as well. But the more we do, the more we'll learn. So... Pillbox Hill. So we're just going to head in this direction. I'm going to get you in closer once we uh, start narrowing down on our, to our target here. See you in a second. Okay, we're looking for a blue blista, and I think I actually just spotted it. That's got to be it. All right, we're going to go and reduce code. This is it. We're going to get this thing marked for pullover. Oh, wrong car. <laughs> we want this one. Okay, and he just ran a red. I know that you're allowed to uh, turn right on red, but you have to stop first. So that'll just be one more charge. Okay, let's see here. Get him lit up. See if we can't get him over to the side of the road. And uh, once we do have him stopped, we're going to go ahead and call for backup. Simply because this is marked as stolen. I want to go ahead and uh, get a felony stop on him. I know I marked for pullover too, but you just need to hold on. <laughs> Don't just start passing traffic and running lights to do so. Because I will tack that on. The ELS on this looks really good. I like it a lot. There's a little damage from us being a moron hitting the taxi later. But I'm sure Dispatch will uh, already get in touch with them and swap insurance info. Alright man, still got your mark for a uh, pullover here. No, that's not true. We are not code 4. I don't know why it just did that. Because we're going to proceed with this. Okay, I didn't cancel it. Let's go ahead and try it again. I guess maybe there was a timer limit on it. Yes, we've signaled him to pull over. I don't know why his tire just went out, but it did. All right, dude, come on. Go ahead and pull over already. Just right there. That'll work fine. You know what? I'll take that. And now his car is smoking. My goodness. Okay. Well, now that we've done that, let's go and get that backup unit on site. Backup needed in uh, Little Soul. That'll work right about there. Once he's on scene, then we're going to go ahead and uh, get out gun drawn and have him get out of the vehicle for us since this is stolen. Now, since that call canceled, who knows if it'll come back stolen anymore. If it doesn't, well, you know, confused identity, I guess. Let's go and get that ready. 
Driver of the vehicle, out of the car now. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Put your hands up. All the way to your knees. Down to your knees. Down to your knees. Look at that. You made me pull out my gun. Okay, excellent. He is on his knees now, so let's go ahead and arrest the ped. We'll explain what's going on in a second, sir. Just uh, hang tight with us. This is for your safety and mine. Again, not sure if this will actually come back as stolen or not anymore, but we got to find out, do our due diligence here. So let's get him moved over here to the sidewalk. Officer, if you would, just kind of keep an eye on him for me. And uh, I, while I pat him down, and once we get his ID, we'll go ahead and run that through the system. We're going to go ahead and grab the uh, uh, the plate number, excuse me, off of this blista. All right, metal spoon with black powder residue. Uh, pencil and Playboy. Okay, that could potentially be... Um, John Marcus, that could potentially be drug paraphernalia, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Is it not going to let me try to get the plate info? Nope. All right. Well, we'll do it through police radio then, won't we? Let's go ahead and see if we can get that. I know my police radio is huge, by the way. Um, I can adjust that. I just forgot how. <laughs> I just got to go back and look it up. But I've had some people tell me they actually like it. They can see what it is that we're actually doing. And uh, normally, as you see, I don't have it on the screen that long anyway. Okay, it's just not grabbing this plate number right now. Let me try that one more time. I didn't even pay attention. There's a passenger in the vehicle. All right. 79 Lima, Passing November, vehicle, Delta 112. 79 Lincoln, stolen. North, David, that is it. 112, a possible stolen vehicle. Okay, now that was Proceed dummy me. Caution. Again, I didn't even realize we had another vehicle or another person in the passenger. Another person in the passenger. Really passenger longer. seat. All right, come on. I don't want to stop the pedal now. Out of the car. This Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. On your knees. You on your knees. Okay. We'll explain what's going on in a second, sir. I don't know if he has anything to do with this whatsoever, but that's not really my concern right now. I just want to get him in cuffs again for our safety. Tell me, sunshine. We've already You're searched him. He had potential ass? drug paraphernalia on him, but I'm not positive. We're going to go ahead and uh, give him that charge. Courts can settle that get this individual moved over to the side. We're going to pat him down as well. Alright. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and search this uh, vehicle that has now officially come back as stolen. I'm also going to shut my door, a wallet and citation, before it gets knocked off by one of these vehicles. I guess we pulled up just enough where it wasn't that much of an issue, so that's good. Alright, Chris Waverfield was the second individual. Let's go ahead and search this. Just make sure, again, there's nothing illegal. And if it comes back good or not, for that matter, it'll be uh, either no charges or additional charges. So, uh, nothing on there. That's no big deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out that tablet. I'm going to start getting charges written up for these guys, and we'll pull you back in here in a second. All right, welcome back, everybody. We did get their vehicle towed out of here. We're about to have our officer here uh, take them back to the jail. Uh, we did go ahead and get John Marcus. He was the one driving for grand theft as well as possession of drug paraphernalia. And we're also going to get Miss uh, Waverfield here, Mr. Waverfield, uh, excuse me, Mr. Waverfield, also a grand theft. Uh, so again, we'll let the court sort that out. I imagine he was involved with that anyway. So we're going to go ahead and get them uh, taken out of here by our police buddy, and we'll get back out there here in just a little bit. See you in a second. Citizens reporting a suspicious vehicle in Little Soul. Okay, suspicious vehicle in Little Soul. It is a code 2 response, so we're not going to go over there with sirens blaring. Well, let's see here. These can always end up in uh, very, very interesting uh, finishes. So we're looking for a black fugitive. It's going to be right here somewhere in this uh, vicinity that we're already in. It was very nearby. I think I see it over there behind those hedges. We're going to see if that's it. We are going to try to move through traffic here a little bit. Watch out, everybody. All right, good job. Thank you. Thank you. Stop, 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 stop. Don't block my entrance. Oh, well, wrong spot anyway. <laughs> okay, we'll just pull up on the sidewalk. Hopefully this is it. I know, man. My apologies. I wasn't supposed to be doing this. Let's see if... Uh... Nope, it is now gone. So that wasn't it. And this was not a fugitive anyway. Okay, well, I'll keep searching. And once I've got it, I will pull you in. Okay, I think we found it. Yep, that's it. Hmm, trying to figure out how I want to do this. I'd like to have him blocked, but that's not really uh, going to be conducive right now for me getting there. So we'll just go ahead and call in our backup. Backup needed. We're going to be in, in the. So. so we're going to get in our backup. 
We're just going to be doing felony stops all day long, it seems like. All right, so let's wait on him to get here, or her. Uh, once that person is here, then we're going to go ahead and get out and do a felony stop. I know it says approaches, uh, approach to check, but I've just had this end horribly too many times just to trust that. So, all right, thanks for showing up, ma'am. Uh, we're going to try to code five this guy. All right, so let's get the weapon out. Person in the vehicle, out. Hands up, hands up, hands up. On your knees. Get down on your knees. Down all the way. On your knees. Okay, let's go and get him in cuffs. Okay, or we can do that. That's cool. <laughs> let's go ahead and arrest him. I just like to check out what's in the car, I guess. We'll get to the searching part here in a little bit. Now, this may be totally innocuous. Maybe there's nothing going on. I don't know, but uh, we're just not going to mess with it. So, sir, you're not under arrest at this time. You're just being detained. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, so if you would, uh, just go ahead and move back here with me. I'm not getting any sort of uh, hits of alcohol or anything to that extent. Hey, move along, man. This isn't a show. Let's just go ahead and release him right here. Ma'am, if you would keep an eye on him and actually do me a favor. Go ahead and pat him down. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's just see what he's got. Anything crazy going on here. Just want to make sure there's nothing going to poke me, hurt me, or stick me. Okay, he's got a few capsules in a plastic container, so... That could be prescription pills. This is a Kiyoshi Hiro Yashu. Let's just go ahead and uh, whip out the tablet and check him out. Those uh, those pills, it wasn't coming back as some glaring red, you know, illegal. That could be his own. So uh, let me actually, before I do anything, let's obtain the plate number off this vehicle as well. So we'll just run that and his information. If he comes back clean, then we're just going to tell him to get on out of here. You know, you're trespassing. Can't be in this area right here. And then hopefully that's it. So the vehicle records is a fugitive. Uh, it is not registered to his name, but again, that's no problem. Nothing illegal about that, but this is the individual we're looking for right here, Mr. Kiyoshi Hiroyashu. Everything's clean on him. He didn't come back with uh, any hits of alcohol or narcotics. He also didn't have anything illegal on him. He did have some pills, but uh, we're just going to roll that he does have a prescription for those. So let's go ahead and uh, release the handcuffs and then uh, want him to stay. Just want to explain the situation. We can do it while she's doing that. Okay, sir. You're just called in for a suspicious vehicle parked here in this alley trespassing. Um, so just do me a favor. Just get on out of here, okay? You can get back in your vehicle, but uh, just can't be chilling right here. If you're going to be doing something like that, you need to do that elsewhere. So go on and get out of here, and you have a good day. All right, I guess he's just going to leave on foot. That may have been my bad. So, well, his car is just going to be here. That's all right. So we'll let that go. Ma'am, appreciate your backup. You're more than welcome to get out of here. So that actually ended pretty innocuously. So... We will pull you back in when we've got something more. See you in a second. Dispatch calling unit 38. We have a traffic alert in Pillbox Hill for possession of drugs for sale. Okay, so we got some drug runners. Uh, AMPR hit on those individuals, so uh, let's go ahead and get there ASAP. And of course, it's already telling us to turn around, so Lord knows where they're circling around. The only thing, it can be tricky downtown because obviously you've got one way streets and all of those different variables that make it a little more difficult than just hanging out in an area we know well, such as Sandy or Polito. All right, watch out, people. We're coming through, coming through. Traffic is playing pretty well, considering we are in the city, and there's going to be a lot more of it out here than anywhere else. We did kind of work ourselves back towards the uh, downtown area. Oh, calling unit almost uh, Approach with caution. missed him there. Okay, you know what? We're not even going to keep the lights on. We're just going to go ahead and get him marked for pullover. We've done that. Uh, that's a very fast vehicle. So if this turns into a pursuit, we could have a problem. <laughs> so let's uh, I'll get him over to the side, and uh, we'll pull you back in. All right, we had blipped him. We did turn the lights on. He is finding a very, very good pullover spot for us. That has been working very nicely lately. I'm glad. I don't know what update I did or to uh, any of the plugins, but it's working wonderfully. What? Oh, oh my God. Just, dude, run out. All right, thank you. <laughs> Goodness. Let's go ahead and do the uh, backup because we know we want that. Okay, never mind. He's taking off, so we got us a pursuit. All right. Oh, goodness. This was what I was scared of, him being in a very fast vehicle like this. Oh, God. Pin him, pin him, pin him, pin him, pin him, pin him. Okay, pin him, pin him, pin him, pin him. Oh, come on. Let's get him pinned right there. Out of the car, out of the car, out of the car. Oh, God, they're still backing up. Out of the car, out of the car, out of the car, out of the car. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Hands up. Down on your knees. Down on the knees. Now. Get down. Get down. Okay. Let's go ahead and get him in cuffs real quick. 
Oh my goodness. All right. Well, uh, had to do a number on our own car. I guess he was having a backup box for us, so that's cool. <laughs> no, he's not going to night stick where you know where, so let's go ahead and shut our siren up. There we go. All right. Well, I'm going to say we got very fortunate on that because uh, there's no way we were going to keep up with that. So let's just go ahead and uh, move him over off to the side. We're going to search this vehicle, see if there is, in fact, drugs in there. Uh, theoretically, if he just stopped, there's no drugs or anything, and he was playing nice, then, well, just because we have a hit doesn't mean he was doing anything illegal, but... So, that means, basically, if it still comes back clean, it doesn't matter at this point, because he tried to take off on it. So, we're going to go ahead and obtain that plate number, and let's go ahead and search the vehicle, see what's in here. Dude, just move on. We all don't need to hear your phone conversation. So, violin, bottle of bleach, and a scale coated with tan powder. So, right now, just drug paraphernalia. Nothing huge there. Yeah, maybe. Officer, if you would, uh, please go ahead and uh, pat this person down for me. I don't recall seeing any hits on uh, intoxication or narcotics of any kind. So alcohol or narcotics, I should say. Let's see what we get here. Uh, use condom and matches. So, you know what? Kind of like I was saying, really, there wasn't much. He had some drug paraphernalia, which uh, could potentially end up in jail time. But this just got a lot worse because he ran. So, sir, I don't know what you were doing. You, uh, you came back as a known drug runner that's why we attempted to stop and make contact just to see what was going on and really the worst you had was some paraphernalia that's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things but you took off and that just made things a lot worse so you just need to hang tight here for me okay so we're just going to go ahead and uh, get this towed on out of here we'll pull up the tablet and get some uh, charges going for this individual do you want to go ahead and obtain that plate number real quick let's just make sure that wasn't stolen or anything hopefully i can get there before the uh tow truck all right cool not the registered owner but what's new rarely is anymore is it <laughs> so they've already got the oh don't come this way you are not coming this way you are not coming this way you're gonna try to come this way are you kidding me okay well let's just pull him up and if we get hit we get hit <laughs> oh this is not good what is this moron thinking okay anyway back to it everything was valid i mean nothing really there so uh that's just him, I guess, freaking out, so we're going to go ahead and get him traffic for uh, evading arrest. Uh, we can go ahead and get him for reckless, too. I mean, we could. I guess he didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, he did do uh, kind of some destruction of property here, so we'll go ahead and do that. Some private property destruction. Uh, I could also be a real butt and get him with public, because he did hit us a couple times, but uh, I'm not going to be too much hardcore on it. Get him for the drug paraphernalia. That seems to be a common theme today. <laughs> go ahead and get those charges submitted. We're going to get him taken out of here by our buddy, and then we're going to go look at our court cases and call this an episode. So we'll be right back with you. Sir, if you would, go ahead and get him out of here. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. So we are uh, away from that scene. Our car is a little beat up for everything that we did, but that's all right. So we're going to start with Mr. John Marcus. He was the driver of that Grand Theft Auto that we had earlier, and he also had possession of drug paraphernalia. So he's going to end up with, wow, 12 years in prison and 10000 in fines. Mr. Waberfield, his uh, accomplice here, is also going to get eight years and 7,000 in fines for also a grand theft. And then that last individual, Connor Herring, who, again, uh, known ANPR hit uh, for being a drug dealer. So we went in and stopped him just to see what was going on. He took off, so that ends up getting him evading arrest. He also was uh, damaging a building there, some private property, so we went in and tacked that on. And also a drug paraphernalia, but real in all reality, if he just stopped, I mean, that wasn't that big of a deal, but... Not very good decisions being made by Mr. Herring, so go ahead and reveal that. He's going to get four more years in prison, as well as uh, roughly $4,500 in fines. So we're going to call that an episode. Again, thank you to those individuals that I uh, shouted out this morning. Uh, if you do have more suggestions for other cities or states you want to see for cop cars, keep them rolling. I think it's kind of fun doing these different ones. So hope you enjoy the episode, and you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.